Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, whether you're a new subscriber or a brand new viewer that just stumbled in or you've been with me since the beginning, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm sharing a Tuesday morning find with you. If you have retired people in your life that are willing to help you get the amazing deals, you can have them go to Tuesday morning when they open. One thing that you should know is there's an automated system at Tuesday morning. So if you see a video like this or you watch other people's haul videos, they will show you this number, 2040359. You can call an automated number and see if this product exists within your zip code or where it's available near you. And I'll put that phone number in the video below. I saw a video that had a big shot die cutting machine and that's what you're looking at the box of. And I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing it now. I, I haven't taken it out at all. I just uh, cut it so you're gonna have to hear the styrofoam and stuff, sorry. I hate that part. I have put off the purchase of a big a die machine of any kind. I've been looking at options. I've been thinking about, you know, a Cricut or a Silhouette. And I've played, if you guys have seen my videos, I've borrowed a lot of different things and tested them out. One thing for me that's a consideration is the weight of them. This one, I'm curious to see, it weighed 20 pounds, right about 20, in the box with all the styrofoam and packing materials. When I borrowed the Sizzix, I think it's called the Sizzix Big Shot Plus. Yeah, this is sturdy and had it for about a week, my back hurt at the end. It was too much for me to pick it up and move it around. So you can see this thing, okay, let's measure it on the platform, can you see that? It is about 14 inches long and eight inches wide. I mean, you know, I wouldn't measure the spot exactly, whatever, we're just eyeballing it. So it's smaller, it's a little more compact, it's still right at my weight limit, right? I mean, the styrofoam wasn't the weight. I saw a video about these and my friend that is retired called the phone number and found out there were a couple near us and she was at the store in the morning when they opened. So I am now the lucky owner of one. And it looks like I will go off camera and put the handle together and then I'll show you more about this machine and talk to you about why I picked this versus some of the other things because there's a lot of options. Okay, I'm back. It took me about six minutes off camera to throw away the trash cap, put the handle on. Oops, I didn't put the decorative cover on. There you go. So now the handle's ready to turn and then I selected a piece of paper when you, if you're not familiar with die cutting, I'll go through that again. On a Sizzix machine, they're not, I don't think they're all like this, but a Sizzix machine shows you on the pads how to put things together. It gives you the instructions right on it. They gave you an instruction sheet, but they also have it on the pads. So when you set them aside and store them, you always have your instructions. This is the piece that goes underneath, then you have a clear pad. Well, it has a picture in it too. Then I've got my piece of paper, which is six inches wide. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, I was playing with this. And then I have my die. I'm going to, just because I've never used this machine and this, or this die before, I'm going to tape it down with a little bit of washi tape. A lot of people use a uh, certain purple tape you need to be sure to use a tape that won't tear your paper because then if you want to use the edges, the background, you won't have marks on it. So you want it held down, but it has to be removable. Then you put the clear top over it and you take this whole, they call it a sandwich, and you put it into your Sizzix machine. Now, there are other brands with a hand crank concept and the same sort of sandwich idea. There are also a variety of dies. Dies are always sold separately. You can see here I have some circles, scallop circles. These are words. The dies are different colors. 
that doesn't matter it's just different brands selling them you can get them here's a star more stars you can get them almost anywhere those of you who aren't familiar with them might have seen them at Tuesday morning or other craft stores hanging on the shelf then I take this for you I'm gonna turn it this way this is an adorable little machine the one I had before you could take an entire eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and run it through and I so that's the Sizzix Big Shot Plus that one's kind of nice because you don't have to cut down your paper let me show you an example here's a sheet that I used on the big one where I could run it through and die cut my things out and then I just hung the rest of it on the wall that's really nice because you're not chopping up your paper to run it through your die cutting machine if you do a lot of six by six, oh, I'm excited to use this one. If you do a lot of six by six card making and you use six by six pads, this machine is perfect for it. So a six by six goes in and I won't have to cut things down to die cut. My back is a big consideration for me. So that's why I didn't get the big one, even though I often advocate for getting a, a multi-purpose tool. If you have a spot on a counter and you're super organized and you're never gonna move it, then maybe the big one's the way to go. It also comes with a bigger price tag. This machine, if it wasn't at Tuesday morning, would probably be about 75 instead of 50. I don't know if you can get the Big Shot Plus for under 100, so price is a consideration. Some people choose them by color. I mean, this one's pretty cute. I don't know, whatever you want. I've been putting it off and kind of thinking about it and then when I saw them for 50 I thought okay it's time so then what you do is you crank the handle so if you have hand issues this is a problem for you there are electric ones they're smaller they cost a little more and they're noisy they're newer so they haven't like perfected them but they're they'd be easier on your back or your hands uh, they do make my husband crabby he doesn't like the silhouette either because it makes murderous sounds, he says. Okay, so then when you're done, I have my die. And I, I just use the $2 paper for this. If you want it to be a really nice sturdy image to cut out and color, like, what did I just do with that other cat I had one a minute ago? You need to use your nicer cardstock, like a 100 pound this or 100 this is the 65 right are they 65 yeah 65 pound maybe 85 pound it depends on what you want I just wanted to test don't worry this is gonna happen when you this is the first time right can you see that I have there we go I have marks on this now okay that's fine it's fine they get bent up you want to be sure and rotate your pads there are all sorts of theories about what you should buy and what you should layer and how to make your pads last longer. And some people say these plastic things are cheaper than they were and so they don't last as long. Whatever. If that's what you want to spend your days figuring out, then great. Here's the die. This one, I'm going to have the internal. All I'm doing is just tapping because they're already cut. I'm going to have the internal stars. So I'll have those to use on my card. So in one fell swoop, I got how many? Two, four, six, eight, nine stars, and I didn't have to use a punch to do it. And then I'm going to pop out these middle pieces. I don't want these, just the filler. There are all sorts of pokey tools you can use. There's different. Every die cutting machine brand has a tool set. I have a needle. And I just take it and go right under my shape. Now, it's easier when it's a die that you've worked with before. Remember, this is the first time I've ever used this one. And it's a little bit dainty, but not too bad. And I'm just loosening it up. And I haven't even used a die cutting machine in a while, so I'm a little rusty. But again, I can get the star, pop that right out. There are, there is no limit on the shapes that dies come in. Words, animals, stars, backgrounds, borders, flags, banners, it, you name it, you can buy. You could probably go online and Google it and find it right now. The other thing that's really neat about die cutting is there are 
in this instance, there's a stamp set that stamps the cat in the cup, and then there's a die that cuts it out. So you don't have to use your scissors and do what we call fussy cutting, where you manually cut it out. That saves you a lot of time. The other thing is people who do a lot of die cutting would watch this video right now and say, gosh, she's taking forever. But die cutting is still faster, I think, than when you use the silhouette, the electronic machines. Sometimes I just have trouble getting my pattern out and off of the, the sticky mat and having it look as crisp and clean. So you can see how long it took me to cut all of these shapes. And let me grab something just so you can see it and get an idea. This, I'll probably take this and use it as a background on a card and just trim it down. Or I might put it on an art journal page. Knowing me, you're going to see a lot of stars in upcoming uh, posts on Instagram or different things. It's just a really nice way to get a variety of things. You can also use all of these shapes to cut neat shapes instead of having circle punches or scallop punches. Keep in mind when you're doing this, if you get a die cutting machine, then you don't need to buy punches or, or vice versa. Just think about what's more important to you, maybe your physical health, portability, whatever it is. So I just wanted you to see that, take a look at it. Like I said, I'll put the number for Tuesday morning down below, and that's a great trick to find bargains. But if your Tuesday morning has a deal like this, you probably need to be there when they open. If you can't get there till the lunch hour, you should probably try and call a friend. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.